the promulgation of a new constitution in Kenya opened up doors through the Bill of Rights that the women and children of Kenya would be grateful for. In a country who had been scarred by a political regime with immense disregard for human rights and dignity, cases of gender-based violence were exceptionally precipitated within Kenyan slums and other informal settlements. Women's Rights Awareness Program, RAP, a national, non-governmental, non-political, and non-profit human rights organization based in Nairobi that was founded in 1993 has been able to make a tremendous journey with Kenyan families affected by gender-based violence. Anne Gugi, a legal officer and a passion human rights dissident, began the journey. Well, RAP's story started way back in 1989. And it started with an organization which was then known as the Public Law Institute, where I, had, I was an officer there, a legal officer there, and I had set up a desk, Women's Rights Awareness Program. We were four at the time, came up and decided we need to register this organization known as RAP, whereby we would be providing and addressing this, these needs that have been identified by these women, an alternative, safe and secure place to be, a place where they can actually seek refuge, get assistance, get services, and be able to make decisions concerning their lives. Since its foundation, the journey for RAP has never been the same again. Right from the beginning, there was every indication that it was time the human rights scenario in Kenya got a facelift. The priority was to enable survivors of gender-based violence to access the primary gender-based programming sectors of healthcare, psychosocial support, security or protection, and legal justice, thus RAP, initially focused on mitigating the effects of domestic violence. In 2002, we started protecting children who've been violated uh, uh, sexually, physically, or neglected by the society. We have uh, the social department, which is the first, uh, uh, the first stop when a client comes to RAP. By client, I mean any survivor of uh, GBV. They are received, they are, their cases are taken, and they are referred to the relevant department. We have three departments, the counseling department, we have the shelter, and we have the legal. RAP has been able to set up several departments and programs that run on a 24-hour day, seven days a week basis. Um, when you look at uh, most of our clients, that we uh, admit or that we handle, uh, they mainly are from uh, aspects of uh, gender-based violence and uh, on the angle of children, uh, some of them come through uh, child neglect. So we thought that it would be important to uh, advocate for their rights. So in this case, there would be complainants, if it's a criminal matter. Then uh, in the angle of the children, basically through the promulgation of the constitution and other international legislations to which uh, Kenya is party to, children have their rights, which rights must be uh, honored and respected both by the parents and by the state. Clients in the shelter are involved in various empowering and therapeutic activities, including self-defense lessons and skills training on embroidery, crocheting, tailoring, etc. The shelter program also facilitates reconciliation of minors with their parents or guardians, reintegration of minors with their immediate families, and resettlement of minors into a more conducive environment. The social support program entails psychosocial and livelihood support, social work and community outreach, and awareness creation and building community capacity. Uh, in Dadora, basically we are focused with the sexual gender-based violence that is manifested in form of gang rapes. Uh, one, uh, last year when we were in Dandora, we identified that there is a, a need to address the gang rapes in the neighborhood of Dadora, which were uh, being manifested uh, in an organized manner, and uh, there was a wide outcry that young women and uh, girls were uh, subject, subjected to harassment by the gangs, which were locally known as, uh, uh, which, which referred to the SGBV as Kuchotwa. So we, 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 we partnered with EVOS and a program 
known as uh, Sexual Reproductive Health Empowerment Program, in abbreviated as SERA, and uh, trying to address the problem through building the capacities of the communities to identify and uh, address the issue. Awareness creation on children's, women's and human rights is undertaken as a gender-based violence prevention strategy that also has the aim of sensitizing the public in general on gender-based violence response as a strategy and to help surmount the challenge of non-reporting of incidences and to increase social acceptability of women reporting abuse. <laughs> Economic empowerment, therefore, is a strategy that enables vulnerable women, women affected or at risk of gender-based violence, to stop or to avoid poverty-driven violence. It is in this regard that RAP, in partnership with various financial institutions, including Equity and Jamie Bora Banks, mobilized women survivors into groups of core guarantors for purposes of solidarity lending. The program entails capacity building and skills training to beneficiaries to enable them operate effectively in their small businesses. RAP, in partnership with Hivos, a Dutch organization, rolled out a pilot project in Dandora, a low-income neighborhood. Dubbed Harnessing the Collective Action of Women for Holistic, Gender-Based Violence Programming and Social Change in Kenya. Anne is a survivor of gender-based violence. Just like most women, her story begins like a love fairy tale with hopes of living happily ever after and raising a family with a man of her dreams. Akaanza kubadilika akakuwa sasa ni kunitusi kunichapa kuniletea wanawake wastani wengine kwa nyumba nikakaa tu nikivumilia nikivumilia nikakuja nikazaa mtoto wangu akiwa na mwezi mmoja akaanza kunichapa akakuwa ananichapa kila siku akikuja tu hivi kwa nyumba jua alikuwa anakunyonga pombe na anavuta bangi kwa kinga tu hivi kwa nyumba kitu ya kwanza tu hata kuongeleshi anaanza kukuchapa kukutusi nikamwambia ika kutuma ali tu nasema tu acha nivumilia atabadilika atarudi venye alikuwa nikaona abadiliki juu elifika mahali akaanza kusema ataniua sasa she finally made a decision and thankfully rap was in dandora a disturbing trend was observed from rap's client data indicating that incidences of rape especially of young girls and teenagers in Dandora was in the rise. RAP's social workers in the field established that the experience of rape had become so rampant that youth gangs, commonly known by such names as Hapana Tambua from Dandora, had dubbed the phenomenon Kuchotwa, which implies picking up a girl. <laughs> These alarming stories made it to the mainstream Kenyan media and attracted a lot of public distress. RAP, in partnership with Hivos, resolved to venture into Dandora. With the help of the local administration and the community as a whole, sought and established socio-economic and civic empowerment program aimed at social action groups for women and youths in the region. Yaani hapo zamani ulikuwa unapata sisi hatuko na ile fahamisho tulikuwa tunajiunga ni kuchota but kwa saa kwa venye tulikuwa na chota ulikuwa unapata ni manzi mmoja na chota na watu kama 5 7 to 10 lakini tulipo come sasa baadaye vile rap waliweza kupenya huku Dandora kuna venye tuliweza kujua nini ilikuwa ni mbaya ilikuwa ni gang rape 
hapo ndo tulijulia ni gang rape sasa ikakuwa venye chief na dio wetu wameanza kuhamasisha watu katika zile spot zile ma spot pale mabezi zilikuwa unapata sasa hapo ndio watu walianza kujua hii kitu ni nini kwa sababu tuko naenda mpaka na tunafanya kama baraza inafanywa mahali kama hapo unapata hizo vitu wenyewe tuko nafanya hivyo na hapo ndio wakaji wenyewe ni rape gender based violence imekuwa well understood in the community na people are responding to it in a good way for instance when they hear any any case related to gbv they report it and people are people are very keen to know how the proceedings are going and to the society people are coming up with things that they are doing at least wana kwa occupied uh, I, I i get very many cases in daily basis uh, concerning uh, gender violence i would like to encourage rap and uh, tell them please there's a lot to be done in dandora um, come we as the government will allow you to come and uh, train our people be with our people educate them on the gender violence issues come and support us like in dandora we don't have a rehab center so i would like to encourage rap and tell them that we, we as the government are supporting them and we'll be with them and we'll work together women led community gender based violence watch groups were then established drawn from all faces in dandora and their capacity built through workshops as a strategy to end violence in dandora other activities included community awareness through road shows talk shows radio spots on Koch and Gato FM and through dissemination of IEC materials, brochure, t-shirts and flyers. RAP is thankful for the invaluable support and cooperation that was received from the local administration and the entire community, women and youths. Counseling department in RAP has been very successful. We have seen clients move from one emotional state to a better one, and that is the goal of counseling. You want to see a positive change in a client. You want to see a client who came while in a point of a crisis being able to embrace the new situations in her life or in his life, because also we see boys, and be able to look at the situation differently from a positive angle and move on. We've had success stories. When it comes to the legal department, we've had cases that have been through and uh, children, the perpetrators have been sentenced. We have uh, success stories where children have been counseled and have really, uh, uh, they've really done away with the trauma and they've been able to be reintegrated back to the society and continue to their lives normally. Nasema venye wao watu walikuja nikagundua ni akina nani nilijua wanajitanga rap. Walinisaidia sana juu walikuwa niliambia au wana deal na watu wamedhulumiwa si mimi wa kwanza. Kwa hivyo nisiogope. Au watu walinisaidia kabisa juu walinipea counseling. Nikaweza kujiinua kutoka mali nilikuwa maisha yangu ikabadilika niseme rap mali walicheza kwa pat life ile mm, pat walicheza kwa life yangu ni kubwa sana yeah. so at the moment we've learned that we don't have so many cases as we used to receive before on our desk the cases have gone down and even the kids are able to speak on their own and are able to tell to educate others on the same with the community you are able to address, you are able to uh, reach at a grassroots level to get in uh, to get to the people and to approach them to be able to participate and to address issues with you to think alike with you and to uh, to be able to make a difference with you that is one of the biggest um, for me a biggest plus that rap has been able to do and we are working towards that again of course it's working with the, the government the government is a key player in, in, in terms of um, in terms of addressing gender based violence. In terms of they have the resources, they have the ability, they have the skills, they have the knowledge. And they, if, if the, all that was put in place, I, I'm, I'm quite convinced that the issue of gender based violence would actually be seeing a remarkable decline. 
Uh, another one, of course, is uh, civil society and CBOs and uh, uh, organizations that are known for, for profit. Working with them is, 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 is uh, a plus because if we work together with a common objective, we are able to achieve much more and we are able to see uh, and, uh, and actually see and uh, assess our impact and how far we are getting because we are working as a team. Uh, then, of course, uh, I'd, I would then go down and narrow really to the family level. Uh, this is individual families. Uh, working with them to be able to address, you know, gender-based violence would be a, ve a, a very big plus for us as an institution. We'd we'll be able to see it at, at a homestead level. We'd we'll be able to see the changes. We'd we'll be able to be able to see the impact that we have. So for me, those are key players that we have. And of course, finally, I can talk about the donors, the, you know, supporters, people who would want to support the kind of initiatives we are taking. We would like to see that increase in terms of numbers because we have done done a, a good job and would like to see it replicated all over the country and um, uh, working with others to also replicate who share the same ideas that we also share. RAP has been one of Kenya's most resilient voices against rape, child abuse, gender oppression and gender-based violence. Their journey hasn't been short of misunderstanding and emotional tolls, but to this end, they want to continue writing the story. My message to all Kenyans, who include women, men, children, and the youth, is that gender-based violence can be eradicated. And it, it requires a common effort of all of us together with a view to addressing, to addressing and eradicating the gender-based violence. It requires us to also, um, it requires us to uh, see it and recognize it as a problem, and a problem that has to come out of the closet, that has to be in the forefront, that has to be addressed by everybody, so that people can see it and that people will then address it deal with it and also come up with solutions that will actually not only strengthen the family unit, but will strengthen the community as a whole and the country as a whole. Because a country that is free of gender-based of gender -based violence or any form of violence is a strong country which is moving in the right direction.